My name's Andrew, and I'm just trying to get fade. You ready? Yeah. All right, then. Are you scared? Good. You should be. <laughs> You don't want this to overhang over the fade, right? That's what I'm doing. Come on off of that. There we go. His hair is really thick and he's trying to keep the top. And here we're doing his last fade. Uh, I don't know what they did because it's not there's no fade to it. There is no fade here. I'm gonna just pull it down just a little bit so I gotta feed in better. Better lighting, that's for sure. <laughs> now, where we live at, this is no offense or a racial thing intended, but it's a shame that a white boy has to fix this. Because there's too many of them out here that says they're barbers. And if they were supposed to be doing a fade on this guy, and it come out looking like it did, I might have to drop down to a two.
talk before we started this. And uh, she wants to keep the top. All our faith is around fattening back and leaving the top. But I'm not gonna let it droop over the face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna talk to it. But once I get the phase on, I'm gonna take the comb and pull this down and blend it in. As y'all know, I'm a right-handed cutter, but I'm, I've trained myself to cut left-handed as well. Uh, it's called ambidextrous. But this is the only thing I can do with my left. If I try to write the letter, you wouldn't be able to read it. with the 16th guard on it and go back over this part over here. Because we want it clean. But we don't want this overhang. And you can tell that I'm going about the same height, right? Right along that bone there. That's called a parietal bone. This is a temporal, this one's a parietal. I know they don't need shit to you, but if you do hair, you have to know those things. And whoever's done yours should have known. And they was trying to fade you. Let me know if we start to get too warm, okay? And as I stated, I'm putting a one sixteenth attachment on here now. 
Okay, I'm back. As I said, the number one was a 16. And instead of going up, I'm coming down. Or 
big spiral. It's the same deal because the hair moves in different it grows in different directions, it moves different ways. So you have to blend it with the direction of the growth pattern. Now you can feel the guard hitting this, but it's not going into it. Because I'm letting it ride off of that, that curve, the natural curve of the head. And let me turn this a little bit so you can see. When I go here, you can see the if you can see, it comes off that bone. And since it's got a little curve here, I'm doing the same thing. It's riding off of that bone. It's touching the hair, but it's not going into it. All I'm doing is cutting this part under it to make the fade. Y'all seen me do this before? You've seen me do it without guard. You've seen me do it with just a blade. I can put a, I can put a triple zero blade on these clippers and go right into a number four without without cutting to the skin. Done it many times, as you all know. Some of it's going easy for me, but some of it, like right here, his wave pattern has shifted direction on me. That's why I'm, I, that's why I'm pulling this hair out of the way and, and lifting a little bit on the skin. Now, I'm not putting pressure on your head. I'm not pushing or nothing. I'm just holding this hair up. And what it does is raises it, raises the skin up onto that bone a little bit so that hair stands up and can get, can get cut the way it's supposed to be without going into the other hair. It's got a big patch right here all moving this way. And right behind it, it comes up, swings here, this swings down, and that swings forward. That's why I say you have to go different directions to get it right. Otherwise, you ain't got to fade, you got to mess. You got to want to be paid is what you get. If you don't learn to fade hair, learn to do it right. Blend it. Learn to make it blend. Right there along that, that bone line. Do you see a little bit right there that I'm getting into? That's where it's blended into the line. This line where the hair separates, not, not, not making a line down here. Now you can feel what little pieces I'm tugging on right there and, and getting them. Little bitty pieces. And I'm not cutting into the other hair. As you can see, you don't see nothing sticking out there. I know this might not be the most opportune moment to be doing this, but I like to wipe my equipment off, clean it some before I put it back down, change blades, because it makes it easier to clean later. Anytime you put oil on a blade, you have to turn it on. Let it circulate and wipe the blade down so you don't get oil all over your client.
Alright. I'm sure you had warm blades on it before. But I'm let, if they start getting hot, let me know. <coughs> so, I'm gonna let them sit a second and I'm gonna do this. He wants it really close around the ears. So what I have right now is wall balding clippers. And if you can tell, I'm still leaving a trace of hair here. I'm not, I'm not pushing them in to take all the hair off. And I'm not going to reel out over the ear because I want to fade this. I'm going right to the temporal bone. And no higher. Now, uh, the picture we've seen, does it come around a little after it to be a fade, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Y'all can see down here cleaning the neck. And my neck strips coming loose. See that's why I was having such a problem earlier. There it is. Yeah, is that okay? stages which for him the way he's doing it is I prefer to do it this way and let them let that one leg cool down. Okay, this is where the fade begins. It goes from this nothing right up to that 16th. The one in the 16th. Blends right into it. And as you, well, you really can't see it, but I'm taking this and letting it ride off of the bone and going over what's there to make it blend. 
whatever's sticking out from that, that one in the 16th is getting blended away with these so that there's no line. As I said, I'm letting this blade ride off of the bone and not right up against the scalp. So it's not cutting it down to a, a one where I had the two and the sixteenth, the one and the sixteenth at. I'm letting it ride right off of the bone. I think you can tell that, right? You can feel it. And with the blade, with the blade elevated off of that bone, you can see I'm blending out the parts that were being stubborn with the one blade, but it's raised off the bone. It's, it's more or less like I'm just combing it away. I'm using this blade like a comb. Folks, we live in the Ohio Valley, the best place in the world if you have allergies, to have a cough, a sneeze, a sniffle, and it changes day to day. The weather can change here in minutes. We were in the 70s yesterday, and today it snowed.
seamer of the hair feeds into the teeth. So did you get rid of the overhang that was on that was hanging over the plane? I did. I haven't done it yet.
back and one more time so we can triple zero blade. Yeah, 
takes seven years. Wow. How come? Who got a hold of him last time? Damn. My cousin Jesse. He was he was high. And I told him this is before a uh, big release. Uh, companies were marketing to, to uh, younger people. I used to live in the country. I've been smoking uh, since I was 11. Did you hear me? I used to live in the country picking back. I hear you. Well, <laughs> back <laughs> That was, it, it didn't sound any long enough to be worried about being hot, did it? No. It was just getting a little bit too, it just getting a little bit hot. Yeah, they do because of uh, its direct contact with with the tang, you know, from the motor. Yeah. And the longer they're on, the heat transfers to the blade. But, uh, I'm gonna, as soon as you get done with him, I was gonna uh, let your uh, suckers uh, cool down, and then you can use my. out 
has this cut this close. And I'm also getting this off your neck down here. Oh, that felt weird. <laughs> Warm though, ain't it? Yeah. Don't feel bad, right? Uh uh. Feel like a paintbrush is going in my head. Yeah. But it's not bad, though, is it? Mm -hmm. So this actually is a treat for you, your first one, huh? Yeah. All right. You can hear the scraping. Mm -hmm. Is it hurting you? Mm -hmm. What's it feel like to you? It feels like just like a little needle just poking. Just stroking over? Mm -hmm. If you didn't know that was a straight razor, would you think it? Mm -hmm. I think you'd just be scratching. But not a hard, a bad scratch. Mm -mm. I don't know. No, I'm not taking this all the way to the skin. I'm going to leave you just a trace of hair here. That's what's coming off. Oh. And you'll be able to see the line there where it's shaved and not shaved. <coughs> now I was I was going to like design out your neckline but since you're doing it like a picture I'm not doing that. Is 
smooth there if I can spray just a little bit of water on there. Splat a lot easier. Yeah. <laughs> 
God. You said what? That's good. <laughs> It makes you smile just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> didn't expect that, did you? No, I didn't. Oh my God. All right. Snap this back and finish it out. We're going to finish me up with the overlap or? Yeah, get, take some of that overlap and kind of round it into the top. Yeah. I always want to know how how, how Barbara do that because like, this ain't my first time getting one like this. And I always had an afro and my hair would just be wild. Alright, well there's different ways of doing this. I know you can do it with the comb, but it, it, it depends on the length and stuff like that, right? Yeah, and uh... Also depends on who's doing it. Yeah. As to which technique is used. Uh, what would I have be my the better own. technique? What would be the better technique? It, it just depends on who's doing it. What's best for them? Here you go. Keep your head still. Ooh, that's a beast. Yeah. Yeah, it's a beast. A little bit of it, ain't it? Yeah. I love my hair, though. Can't go wrong with it. I'm just gonna freehand this. Okay. That's why I'm trying to comb it out a little bit up here first before I get started. Okay. Ooh. Now that ain't so bad now, is it? I just wanted to get rid of the sides and fade the sides because when I lay down on my afro, my sides, the sides just smush in one big flat position. Yeah, I'm not going to do this part of the front. Uh, but I am. Where he tried to line you out. And he took it back too far right there. I'm going to do something cool. Hold still. And this ain't going to show unless you want it to. Put a little line in the hair. Yeah, just a little. Go right back to the, right back to the line where your fade is.
Now I'm gonna scare you a little bit. I taught myself how to do this stuff. I was never trained as a barber. Never stepped foot in a barber school other than to talk to a friend of mine. He's a professional. I did go to cosmetology school and learn to do women's hair. And I had a three hour waiting list. But I'd already been cutting hair for 16 years before I went to get a license. But you checked it out during the break and you said it was looking good, huh? So you want to keep rolling yeah. or what? Better than you thought? Mm-hmm. So are you like what I, what I was saying earlier? Yeah. A white boy did this? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. saying in another video I've done people's hair from all over the world from Nigeria Uganda Burma China Korea North and South Thailand I don't know if I said Japan or not but Japan Sweden New Zealand, United Arab Emirates, and the reason for that is because where I worked at was close to a uh, an unnamed medical school and dental school. It is, uh, from what I understand, it's one of the best in the country. 
if not the best, medical school and dental schools in the country. Because people surely do come from all over the world here to go to school at these places. What do you think about your line I put in there? Yeah, yeah, I'll check that. It's straight, ain't it? Yeah, it's just... It's a little hard, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, hardcore, just a little? Yeah. But, like you said, ain't nobody gonna see it unless I... Like, unless you show it. Yeah. But it's slick, though, ain't it? Yeah. Slick out down there, huh? Hey, you still want me to try to round the front out a little bit, or you just want to wait on that? And next time you come over, we can do something to it. It's up to you. Oh, I need to see it. You didn't think I could do this freehanded like it did. Yeah. It takes some years and years of work to get to do this.
do is knock some of this looking stuff off. I'm going to stop there and let you go have a look at it. Hold on. Before you decide to get up. My name is Redman. I'm about to get all my hair cut off. Okay. You ready? Yes. And this was the result of a, a lineup accident, right? Yes. Okay. When we get done, I want to see the video. <laughs> You'll be able to see it as soon as it posts because it'll send you a note telling you it's there. But this is the first time I've actually been on a YouTube thing. So, what you been doing other, other than cutting people's hair? What am I getting ready to do? I said, how was your day? Oh. Other than cutting people's hair. Yeah, it was okay. It wasn't as bad as some days have been, like all that time I spent in the hospital. I'm like, do you ever watch sports or anything? No. Yeah. I do not. Damn. You didn't even watch the Super Bowl? Nope. Oh, wow. Didn't like any of them that was in it. But in, uh, when you was in high school, did you play any sports? Yes, I did. What sports did you play? I wrestled and, and played uh, football, and I lettered in JV fencing. You never ran track or anything? Nope. Why not? Because I, I was more interested in the fencing. Mm. You know what that is, right? Yeah. You does the swords? Yep. All right. Yeah, I lettered in fencing.
You don't feel these tugging or pulling or nothing, do you? No. This is a 6-0 blade. I'll let you know if it hurts me or it starts getting hot. I'll be done before I get warm. Yeah, but uh, the last person that tried to line my back over it up, as soon as that they was lining it up like across here, they had a big old scratch right there. That's because they had their blades set up too far. A lot of people that use it. the ones that you couldn't adjust. They they had it set up too far. It doesn't it, you see this one doesn't have an adjustment no. handle on either, but you can move the blades up. No, it, it didn't have none of that. It was one of them old style ones. Even the old style ones, you can you can adjust the blades up tighter. You can make the blades tighter, or to where they cut closer. Mm -hmm. And they had it set up too high. So a lot of barbers that use Andy's clippers. Ooh. Um, a friend of mine. Um, what kind of clippers uh like is used on black people's hair? A lot of different kinds. Uh, Oldsters, uh, uh, Andy's. Because one day I was at a barber shop and they said that uh, they can they can make uh, clippers just for like mixed people and, and black people's hair. That uh, no, I, he says some that, people think that, but there's no such thing as a clipper for just like, black people and mixed and none of that. He said there's it was no like thing. a certain brand, but like curly hair and all that. Uh, I think and afros. I think he's confused or mistaken. I'm like, he, that's what they uh, uh, told him in barber school. Uh, somebody told him wrong. Because he went to uh, barber school. Uh, I've been cutting hair for over 40 years and I have never, and I mean never. I'm, like, I'm just telling you where it's on me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think he was confused or pulling your leg. Because there's no such thing as a clipper that's and made he's just for than black me. people. And he was younger than me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Barbers that uh, do like designs and hairs and all that. Right. Yeah. I was saying. You were taking advanced barbering? Yeah. You got just a little bit of fuzz on there and it's kind of feels soft, don't it? Yeah. But uh, as long as I've as long as I've been doing it. Every time I get my uh my uh, haircut uh somewhere in this area I have like a bald spot or something. I don't see one, I see a scar. The scar is where you, there's no hair growing yeah. in them. Yeah. But I don't Do you see, see this what you right call here? bald spots. You see the scar right here? Yeah. That's the scar that I was talking about. I went right over it and it didn't make a mark. And that's uh, what happens when you use a one blade, when you use a shaving cream. Oh, when you use a razor? Yeah. I could probably go over that and you'd never notice it. Because that, this, this happened when I was 16. And then... Ever you see that? Huh? And then after that...
to the uh, barber shop uh, on Fort Knox. All right, you are done, my sir. Okay. So um, when my hair goes back in, uh, do you know how to like line up and stuff? Yeah, but I wouldn't let the same person do it. <laughs> All right. So everybody you say it. Bye. Yep. Uh, feel it and see if it feels okay to you. It feels great. All right. We'll see you again. See you later.